Oh, that's a big ball to miss as far as lines are concerned. Handball over the top. Rebilliard off the deck, bouncing ball. Deegan, full grave, hug, taken high, question mark. He's got a right there. Oh, it's the non-controlling of fire. Have a look at the other umpire. He's three metres from the contest and he hasn't paid it. Hey, this is the Kieran Hug pocket. Did I tell you that he kicked three goals oh, against Claremont? Bill Murray on the ground all day. <laughs> This, that is such a big call in the context of the, in the context of this game. One thing he has to do is score. Is score. <laughs> That's all he has to do is score or wait for the siren. Big, big call from the umpire that was 40 metres away. Ooh, anyway, he's going for the non-preferred. Kieran Hug. He had a chance 30 seconds ago. Goes for another attempt. The left foot snap. He's kicked it. What a massive goal for the Eagles. Give the man a hug. <laughs> trees, hug whatever you like West Coast Eagles fans but that is brilliant stuff and look at the emotion on Hamish Brayshaw, the skipper who's been a part of this all the way through it's out almost beyond Subiaco now you would imagine, an 11 point lead at the almost 28 minute mark, Kieran Hug had a sighter but gee, he owns the right forward pocket for the West Coast Waffle. We've got the Subiaco Reserves players just starting to file out in front of us. They were getting very <laughs> vocal, as they should be, as they were steaming home. But in the end, that is, that is an almighty umpiring call, and I'd love to see it again, whether he's ducked into it or not, because the, the umpire that was in the right forward pocket said, you've ducked into it, and the one 40 metres away said, nah, he did not. It's high, and they'll debate it frivolously. Archie. Archie was going to try and come on the ground, and now all of a sudden he's walking back. Subiaco with another thrust. Matera. Bailey goes wide. Has Harris. 50 out. Wants to move it quickly. Short pass to Brendan Matera. Oh. He's dropped an absolute soda. Marlin in pursuit. Round the corner, top of the square. West Coast with numbers. Need to see it over. In the end, well kept in. Brought. Centering option. What a ball. Suckle. Top of the square. Subi. They're alive. Wow. Archie has run onto the ground. So what are we now? 29 minutes. Is that Suckle's sixth goal? It's not over yet. He didn't really strike it that well either. How they haven't pushed the ball over the boundary line here, Goss, is beyond me. Oh, dear me. Well, it can't be too long to go. Surely not. 29 minutes played. There's been five, six goals in the term. We've seen quarters go for some massive moments. Here's the excitement of no countdown clock goals. Excitement is one way to put it. Well, I thought Hug had iced the game. I honestly thought he'd iced the game, but that's when you're playing Subiaco. You can't go the early crow. Maybe I have too much too soon. Centre clearance, never been more vital. <laughs> Look at the queue. Look at the players in the middle of the ground. Hutchings, Williams... O'Neill and Shuey for West Coast. They need the centre clearance. Hutchings provides the clinching tackle. Subiaco, Clark, a chance to just bang it forward. The handball wide over the head of, Kitch of, of Kennedy. He'll get another chance to thrust it forward. Taha forward with it in front position, edged out cleverly. Provides the tackle. Jamison's just given it straight to Hickmott. Kick inside 450. Where's Sokol? Hits the deck. A chance, Matera at ground level, ball spills out. And there's the siren! There's the siren! West Coast have won their first game for season 2021 in an absolute nail-biter. Hats off to all boys on the park today. What an absolute enthralling contest to witness. Goss, 